breaking overnight. At this hour, the Taliban stranglehold on power continues to solidify, while more U.S. military forces arrive in Kabul to evacuate our diplomatic corps as quickly as possible after Afghan military forces failed to put up much of a fight against the Taliban. The fact is we invested, uh, the international community invested over 20 years, billions of dollars in these forces, 300,000 of them. Uh, with an Air Force, something the Taliban uh, didn't have, with the most modern, uh, sophisticated equipment. And unfortunately, uh, tragically, they have not been able uh, to defend the country. The Secretary of State speaks out as President Biden remains at Camp David, where he's being briefed by his team. When will Mr. Biden speak to the nation? We're live in Washington. Just days after a devastating earthquake takes the lives of some 1,300 people, rescuers and survivors are now bracing for a tropical storm. New vaccine mandates and mask rules are fueling passions on both sides of the issue as hospitals begin filling to capacity once again. And meteorologist Janessa Webb is tracking three potentially dangerous storms. A busy Monday ahead, early today, starts right now. Glad you're with us, Surly. I'm Francis Rivera. An abrupt and devastating end to America's longest war. The news making headlines around the world of 2020. Still to come, a shot to see the show. The new vaccine requirements for a concert giant and the strict new rules kick in place in New York City as COVID cases surge. The nation's COVID crisis is worsening and putting a strain on the U.S. health system. Some hospitals, especially in low vaccination areas, are running out of ICU beds. Go for everything COVID. All right, thanks to Kathy for that report. When we return, don't hold on to your seats. Why Dollar General is recalling a popular lawn chair. And one last curtain call, the big announcement from legendary crooner Tony Bennett. A new consumer alert to tell you about. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, around 155,000 true living sling loungers are being recalled after reports of lacerations and finger amputations from the metal folding joints. The chairs were sold by Dollar General nationwide between January and September of 2019. Customers can contact Dollar General at this number or go online at dollargeneral.com for more information. Tony Bennett is stepping away from the stage on doctor's orders. The 95-year-old crooner is on, living on strong to this day. We thank you for starting your week with us. I'm Francis Rivera. Coming up on the Today Show, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan will speak out amid the stunning Taliban takeover in Afghanistan and where the United States will act from here. Your news continues right here on NBC and our NBC station. So great to have you with us this early.